Hi, I'm James Weeby with Radiant Instruments. I want to show you the all new updated angle of attack, which we're bringing back out for uh, 2021. And I've got one on my desk here. Uh, everything that you see inside here is included in the box. Uh, the uh, instrument comes in two different versions. One is designed to be flush mounted. So you put it on the side of your aircraft. And this assumes that your propeller is behind, not up here. Uh, and then the other one is leading edge mounted, for which we include this tube and this base right there. Uh, everything is included in the box, so if you want it flush mounted, just don't use the tube and the base. Uh, the uh, sensor comes through about a 15 foot harness into the unit. The harness also includes an audio buzzer, uh, a dimmer potentiometer, and a power harness. Speaking of power, hook it up to your 12 volt supply. Uh, it's designed to work with 12 volts um, and also you want to hook it up through a switch uh, an independent switch for the system and its own fuse i'd recommend a one amp fuse the reason that you want to use an independent switch is that in the case that you're getting an alarm you want to be able to silence it the easiest way to do that is simply to turn the unit off okay now i want to demonstrate how the unit works uh, so this is, uh, imagine that it's mounted on the leading edge. When you go into a high angle of attack, you can see how the screen of the instrument responds. And in this case, I've got it calibrated from anything from a very high angle of attack down to cruise flight. Over on the screen of the instrument, you can see that we're getting not only the bar, but we are also getting an indication in degrees as to the angle of attack. So I will show how that uh, goes up and down. Uh, I also want to show you how you calibrate the unit. When you're in cruise uh, flight, that means you have a low angle of attack. So we will pretend we're in cruise flight right now. I simply hit the low button. I hold it down for 10 seconds. Five, six, seven, and you can see the light turned on. Uh, and we've set the low. Then when we move to set the high angle of attack, let's say that this is our high angle of attack. Same thing, we hit the high button. We're going to hold it down for 10 seconds. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now you can see that our, our range has changed to 0 to 14. This buzzer over here doesn't sound very loud, but that's because I've got the seal over it. I'm going to pull the seal off just enough so you can really hear how loud that is. Uh, it's designed to be loud enough to be heard in the cockpit of an airplane. You can mount this anywhere you want, uh, behind the panel, um, uh, and I'd recommend mounting it with a strap around the side. This thing over here is the dimmer potentiometer. It makes the screen brighter and darker. You can see it working as I turn the dimmer potentiometer. So that's really about it. Um, very simple system. You can mount it leading edge. You can mount it on jury struts if you use a much longer rod. You can mount it flush mount. Uh, all is one system, one part number. And uh, I think it represents a great safety feature. It's fun to use and it's an exceptional value. Thanks.